Okay, what I'm going to demonstrate is exporting a Motion 5 project with an alpha channel. I've got a project open here and it's very simple. It's just um, a text with a shadow sort of rectangle behind it that uh, gradates into transparency. Um, now if I look under Edit Project Properties, you can see that my background color for the project is set to this blue. Now a lot of times I'll set it to a gray so that I can see uh, objects that I'm working with in the file, but this time I set it to a blue just for demonstration purposes, so I'll set it back there again. And it's also set to transparent. Um, so this background color is visible in the canvas, but does not render as part of the composition. Now, um, if I go to the upper right here and view just the alpha channel of this project, you will see that, that the white things, uh, or mostly white, are opaque. Black is, signifies transparent areas. So the rectangle that I put in is uh, opaque until it fades out, and the text is op opaque. So going back to this view. Now to export this properly, I'll go to Share, Export Movie, and in order to get an alpha channel so that this motion project will superimpose over a video layer, say in Final Cut, you have to choose a codec that has an alpha channel capability. Uh, and among the ProRes codecs, which I always love to use, only the 4444 has alpha channel. None of the 422s have that capability. So I'll choose that codec um, under render, render set settings. Uh, color plus alpha has to be chosen. You generally don't want pre-multiply and I'm going to set the render quality to best as always. So click Next, give it uh, a name. In this case I'll just take that name that I've previously put in. It only takes a few seconds here to export and then it'll open up in uh, the QuickTime player. And what you see here is a QuickTime movie where the blue background is gone because that was not rendered, and the text, and if you can see it, the black rectangle is in here. So this will give us what we need to have.